Is it your dream come true? Have this you ever is my more? dream <laughs> kitchen. I can die in here. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Hey guys, it's Shelby Michelle with Farmhouse Living and we are back, finally. Praise the Lord with a home tour. Did y'all know y'all are the first home tour of the year? No, we did not. That. We, it's taken us a second to get rolling, so we are pumped. I am wearing magenta and these girls are <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Neutral, missed the dress code <laughs> of this, but this home is stunning. Homeowner, introduce yourself and tell us about this, why you loved this home. Okay, I'm Brooke Sparks. And my husband and I saw this house last year during a freeze and it was, it's from 1980 and it had not been updated. So we were so thankful to get the opportunity to come in here and have these ladies help us do a full reno. Yeah. It took about eight months and we moved in in August with our four kids. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. So y'all are the design team, Megan and Kevin and Maven. Yes, Maven so Design Names house. together. Yes. Kind of. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. And, and tell, cute. tell us about y'all. Yeah. Tell us about yourself. Yeah, so my name is Megan Connor and part of Maven and I've lived here in town for a lot of, a lot of years and I'm a hairstylist by trade, but my husband and I have renovated and flipped a lot of houses in Rockwall. We are on our fourth house in 10 years. Wow. So, people think we're crazy, but I get really bored and I just want to do something different. So, so I kind of have that experience with like renovation and gutting kitchens and all of that kind of stuff. I love like the hard surface and like the shell of the house, like that's a lot of fun to me. But when I started doing Brooke's house, um, I reached out to Kevin because I just needed some help with some things and that's when we decided to team up. And so now we're Maven Design House, so yeah. It's so much better doing it together. So much yes. better, yeah. So fun. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. So my name's Kevin. I had started my design business probably about three years ago and just, you know, loved everything about it, but I was missing like, just, okay, I need somebody to share in the fun with me. Mm -hmm. So I knew Megan had picked up a couple of projects and was working with Brooks. So we just decided to team together and we've just had so much fun mm -hmm. working with people in the Rockwall area and in Dallas. So, so cool. Yeah. Okay, so let's start in the entry. Mom's yeah. like, I can't wait. Yeah. So this is something that is traditional. Is that your style? Are you kind of a, tra do you tend to go more traditional? Well, originally that was not, mm -hmm. but this house was actually on the epic show Dallas. <laughs> what? Yes. And oh my gosh. JR has been in here. And so I love that from my childhood. And so one of the things that we wanted to do is keep the integrity of the home. All yes. of the bones are the, are the original. The beautiful molding that they had is original. We wanted to update it but also keep the integrity of the home and stay with that traditional style. Well, you did a great job. What a story. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay. Do y'all have yeah. footage of the house on Dallas? I mean, clearly you can My husband watch. does. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. I'm like, I don't, but yeah. that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, I'm just digging this rug too. This is like, everything is elevated traditional. So this rug is so beautiful and y'all source Mm -hmm. The rugs and the furniture. Yes, this is like a clip. Chris loves Julia rug. I was gonna say yeah. it's got the Chris loves Julia yeah. vibe. Yeah, yeah. And it's a Chris loves Julia rug. Yeah, we we really wanted to keep it traditional, but also have just like a more of like a modern twist, like a cleaner, you know, modern twist on it. So add a little bit of color, but we loved the wallpaper. I thought the wallpaper was just a good neutral, but still what, fun. Where is it from? This uh, one's from Pottery Barn, I believe, is where we got this one from. So so fun ticking strap, which is very traditional but I just felt like it gave kind of like a modern edge to the entryway yes. but still yeah it's traditional. perfect and then you have some vintage pieces yes. which is fun which were the homeowners those are her pieces yes. yeah she has a lot of great antiques cool mm -hmm. where do you where's your favorite place to collect well you know what it's family members I love an antique with a story and yeah. so these are from my aunt who is in her 80s but got them you know before I was born. So yeah. I've just been so, I've been 
blessed that my family members have been generous. And so some are from my in-laws and some are from my family. And that is really important to me, a piece with a story and a history. Mm -hmm. So uh, most of the stuff that's antique is not from a store where I bought it. Okay. It's been given to me and then repurposed in the right place. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, and we did take a fun round top trip. We did. Back oh, in the spring to right. see if we could find some stuff, which was my first time and her first time, and that was a really fun trip. So yes. we did get some good good things. We did, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. That was fun. So yeah. something we like to do is to go into a home and really marry that kind of modern with a few of the antiques mm-hmm. because we feel like it really adds that character yeah. and ease. Yes. But it's still appealing to the eye. You know, you walk into a home, it's very relaxing. You don't Mm -hmm. feel like there's lots of clutter, tchotchkes, but you're still getting that clean feel. But then you see a beautiful antique piece that that really brings that warmth and that homey feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's awesome. Speaking of warmth and homey, this room (laughs) over here, y'all, should we go in? Yeah, let's walk into the... To the dining room okay. oh my goodness this wallpaper mural y'all and the paint and the table and, and the, the lighting. lighting and the fireplace oh my goodness. <laughs> okay give us the breakdown how this room was and the process of designing it yeah so this room we knew we wanted like some drama when we first walked in because the entry was light and bright and so we knew we wanted like a moment when you first walked in um, right off the entry so originally this room was wallpapered and this is all original molding everything um, original fireplace brick all of that's original but we sourced a mural off of etsy and love this mural like brooke really wanted like some people in the in the mural as well so we found this really cute like fishing boat scene and loved that i really wanted like a vintage light but with kind of like a modern edge vibe so we found that also got wanted to install the um surround up there just because we feel like that's a nice cool vintage touch also but we love it paired with this brooke actually found this table is it west elm this is west elm yeah Mm -hmm. yeah and such so a more modern table, yeah. just kind of like that good mix. What so. about the chairs? Um, chairs are from. They are from Beth. I mean, Bed Bath and Beyond okay. now took over. Overstock. Um, Overstock. Overstock. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And so Megan had sent me some pictures and said, "Let's pair the colors." I loved just that basket weave look and she was like okay let's pair that with the blacks and the browns and have a multi-tonal look especially since i had this antique which was from family and so i was so thankful that she was able to marry the two and kind of give us that transitional and be able to look traditional but then also not look like grandma lives here So I really want to move into this wallpaper scene. Like, I just want to be there. It's so pretty. So but pretty. what I love so much is the way that you finished it out with this incredible green and the fireplace green. I what just don't this? see that. Yeah, so this much. is Sherman Williams Vintage Vogue is what we did. And we kind of did that, you'll see throughout the house, kind of touches of this Vintage Vogue. And this actually was a really red stain and we just went over it with a nice brown gel stain to kind of complement with the chairs oh Mm -hmm. that's perfect yeah okay so i think i think did we cover all the details i think so but what we didn't talk about is the floors (gasps) okay so tell us about about these floors because you can really see them when you're in this room and you decided not to do a rug which i love that Mm -hmm. yeah i think the floors just sing and the warm wood of the table it just goes so well together so tell us about the floors yeah so this is an engineered hardwood we went back and forth quite a bit on the floor just because we really wanted it to look something like they would like original but we didn't want to go dark yeah and so i kind of went back and forth on this and her husband actually had a lot of input in that he really wanted the floors to look not too light but not too dark so we feel like this was like a perfect marriage looks like with the detail in it and the knotty pine parts and just like it's it feels like that good medium tone. So yeah, good. so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know the brand? Um, I don't, but I can find it. We can. <laughs> <make> it. <laughs> actually, yeah, we have. Some yeah, it's actually out there, so we can find it. Yeah. Okay. Really perfect. Quick. People always ask us yes. for things, building materials, because yeah. it's hard to find good floors. It is. Yeah. It's so such good. a pretty floor. It's so good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Living room. Let's go. Okay. Dreamy, like the moody. This is also the same green. Uh huh. This, this is also the, the vintage Vogue. 
Isn't I, it amazing how different it looks from room to room? Yes. Like this almost looks like black mm -hmm. in here, but it's like perfect. Yes. It's such a good green. I've never heard of anyone using that. So yeah. I'm good to have a resource. A different color. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Layered rugs, layered textiles, vintage finds. Talk about the process in this room. Yeah, so the all of this is original. All of this work is original. We added in the shelving and a lot of these pieces are Brooks pieces that she had and that are special to her. And so we painted the fireplace and then we added this brick hearth and this brick brick above here. You'll see in a minute that ties into the kitchen and we did like a really cool whitewash on it. These rugs are actually rugs from our round top trip. Mm -hmm. So and we found a great stand that was selling all these amazing rugs and found some there. We knew we also loved, wanted like a big drama light as well and so added that and yeah we think it turned out really good I love the homey vibe in here it just I feel like it's a sweet space yes okay so design team mm -hmm. I need advice your best tip top tip on styling shelves because these are so cute yes so we love things clean like not too not, not too much so edit I think that would be our first things to say is like edit like edit down but things straight on things in threes, okay. books, add elevation, so books, that's great to add different heights. Yeah, and I was gonna say too, you know, don't be scared to just do one cool big like thing right in the middle. Okay. Um, Cause sometimes you get a lot of stuff going on, your eye just doesn't know where to look. Mm -hmm. So maybe every once in a while, just do one cool vase or mm -hmm. one cool bowl or right or here one we cool have violin. this yeah. clock. Yeah. We have this clock yeah. up here mm -hmm. that, you know, your eye just kind of goes to that, wow, that's a cool piece. Mm -hmm. You know, we just try to keep when you look at it, your your eye wants to balance between everything and not just necessarily go to one thing or not know where to go at all. Yep. Mm -hmm. And this is a TV. Yes, the, the frame, frame TV, the which frame is TV. the That's best. That's a good frame. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. We've seen a lot of frame TVs, but not with a frame mm -hmm. that beautiful. So yeah. that's so good. I think that was a recent find that Brooke found. And that's Amazon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So everybody's got Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, good job. But you know, I mean, like having, not everybody loves like the big black box above there. So I love the frame TV. We yeah. don't have a, yeah. we don't have a painting on it right now, but it's just, it's such a cool way to add art and not yeah. have the big black box. Which is one of the things I came to them with. I said, I know in this room there's not a wall for a TV. Mm -hmm. And I do not personally like the big black box above the fireplace. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so what can we do? And that was them saying, okay, we, I'm you know, doing the research and finding the frame TV, figuring out that we can frame it, make it look like a picture, yeah. what yeah. we can do so that you know, yeah. we kind of um, are able to have both worlds. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Great okay. job. The last thing I want to mention in this room is that powder bath. Yes. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the wallpaper and the details in that space. Yeah. So actually that wallpaper is original to the house. Mm -hmm. And so we, when we saw it, Brooke was like, I really want to keep it. And I was like, yes, let's keep it because it's, it is so classic, you know, like you think of the red and mustard toile, like, yeah. I mean, that's just like a classic print and so I knew we could like kind of update it there was an old vanity in there an old mirror in there so I knew we could kind of update it with bringing in a more of like a clean line modern vanity and mirror and that's all we did in there flooring yeah you remember the house that we had in High Point the little powder bath had that wall yeah yes. I know, that's what I was thinking it yeah. was like so classic yeah. Yeah. So, so classic yeah. yeah I love it it's such a fun like moment in there mm -hmm. and if you have an old house to like keep something that was old and original yeah. and just gives you that like nostalgia feeling yes yeah. yes and I yeah. feel like that mirror that we sourced for in there goes perfect yes yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's every detail so, is yeah. perfect yeah. Okay, are we ready for the kitchen? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> one of my favorites. <laughs> okay, this kitchen, is it your... Is it your dream come true? Have this you ever is my more? dream kitchen. I can die in here. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yes. So do you love to cook? You know what? No. <laughs> I, I mean, are we going to be honest today? Yeah. No, I do not love to cook, but I love to look at that stuff. I'm telling you. And you know what? I can make some mean spaghetti on it. All right. <laughs> it's beautiful. Hey, honesty is the best policy. That's right. So this stove we've seen actually in multiple houses mm -hmm. and it's so fun how it looks good and 
many different styles, modern yeah. kitchens, yeah. traditional, mm -hmm. somewhere in between. So I love that you featured it here. What is the tile? In yeah, the so that's from, um, re not Bridgerton's, Riyadh tile, and okay. that's the Zalish tile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great. So we knew, like, I just love the organic style of the Zalige, like every tile is a little bit different. And so if you're up close to it, it kind of like has different elevations and yeah. it's just a really pretty neutral, but still like a moment. Yeah, yeah. So gives it a great mm -hmm. color, cottage mm -hmm. feel. Yeah. Okay, and the countertops, everybody's gonna wanna know. Yeah, so what are the countertops, Brooke? Do you remember what it's called? Okay, these are quartz. Yes, they're quartz. Mm -hmm. but um, and my husband, sourced this. <laughs> he did, he he did, did a my, great job. We went and, we went and picked. At the, at the big quartz and marble showroom factory yeah. things. Mm -hmm. And we chose exactly what we wanted. And I think one of the things that Megan said, let's pull some gold in here yes. since we were going to use so many gold accents. Yeah. So I love that. And I love those strong, long arms, yes. you know, that they have. And so mm -hmm. I think People were getting away from color and going with a solid white, but having four kids, I knew that was not going to work for our family. Yeah. And so I wanted to have a little color, but then also it be clean. And mm -hmm. Well, I love how like the gray tones pick up on the brick floor and then the wood tones and the gold well, that kind of goes through it. Yeah. And speaking of clean and brick floors, mm -hmm. every time we share brick, brick floors, so we've done, mm -hmm. what do you think? A hundred house tours now, probably. probably. And how do you clean those brick <laughs> floors? I mean, the comments will be flooded and God bless you guys. I love y'all. But sometimes things are, it's okay that it's not the most practical, but how practical is this? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, it's practical if you are not a perfectionist. Okay. If you want to live in your home and your pets and your kids can run through mm -hmm. and you don't have an anxiety attack, then yeah. this is the floor for you. Yes. But I will say it is, it's a lot to clean. So I don't do it that much. Um, <laughs> we, you know, the great thing about it is you can't hurt it, so we can run over it with the vacuum. We can use any kind of mop, mm -hmm. and I have tried them all, so I can tell you exactly what does and does not work. Yeah. And what I found is the good old soft scrub, yes. like bathroom cleaner that you just squirt on there, yes. and you get yourself a sponge, Come and you on. get down on your hands and knees Come like on, your girl. grandma did, and you scrub it. <laughs> that is have, so funny. And I may have been, have been doing that at 6 a.m. Okay, that is hilarious <laughs> because Shelby and I have stone floors in our house as well, and I don't think I've ever shared that that's my technique, yeah. but that's what I do as well. Yeah. And um, and I agree with you. We're not perfectionists, so we can have the stone, and we love yeah. the organic, mm -hmm. lived-in look. You know, that's hot right now, lived -in. Yes, for sure. So Thank goodness! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so one person did comment that they used a sealer. It was like called Eagle something, mm -hmm. and it is matte. They sealed it, and then they can mop like normal, and it goes over a little smoother. So that's an option. I'll pop that up. I don't have brick floors, but we have sealed Stone. our cement yeah. mm -hmm. tile and that is helpful. So, yeah. but I couldn't tell that there would be yeah. any problem. And here. this is sealed yes, too. It is. It's, okay. it's sealed also. But yeah, I just think that, I mean, the cool thing about brick floor is that like, it has have a lot of movement too. So you can't really tell, is it yeah, supposed right. to be that way or is it not, well, you know? So that's so. what you need to ask yourself when you're choosing your floor. Do you, are you really just trying to hide that it's dirty mm -hmm. or do you really care that it's that clean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? It's forgiving yeah, because yeah. you know, you can have some little muddy paws and yes. it doesn't really show. So I honestly feel like it is forgiving even though when you do clean it, you're going to get on your hands and knees. Yeah. <laughs> so we saw your little paws out there and we want to bring them in at some point and have a picture with them because you have the sweetest, cutest pups and kitties oh I my know. goodness okay i was not a cat girl until <laughs> i was 40 years old but now i am the cat lady all right <laughs> all right yeah. let's talk about the beadboard ceiling was that here yes so originally and we'll get some before pictures but there was a wall here 
and uh, well, actually not a wall, but like hanging cabinets, right? Mm -hmm. Was a here down. a fur down, a fur down all around. So the beadboard was like in this section. So mm -hmm. when we ripped this all down, we knew we wanted to comp continue it just because that was original and it was such a cool feature. Mm -hmm. And so we just had our contractor just fill that right all in. And so yeah, it was an original feature. And that was another thing yeah. is that we had to be okay with it not being perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the we were gonna do our backsplashes beadboard to match. Mm -hmm. Obviously that's not original. And we were gonna have to match and and play, you know, place it in different spots where we had pulled down some of the mm -hmm. cabinets, cabinets. Yeah. and yeah. we just were okay with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I sometimes I, I find sometimes in these older homes too, because I live in an older home myself, that we get it. It's the same thing. Beadboard ceiling. We're going through patching, but you know, finding great contractors out there and just, but but it's almost okay because like I walk into my house and I'm like, well. That wall might be a little bit like this, but I'm not going to look at it too yeah. Much. Yeah. <laughs> But it's character. It yes, is character, sir. for sure. Sometimes it's like, oh, but that's okay because this house has been here for so long mm -hmm. and it's just, yeah. it's a really cool feeling. So. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. I love it. Okay. The flowers. Y'all are saying y'all got them from a farm? Yes, there you know that local, farm. Susie. Yes, it's, you've seen her online. She's amazing. She's amazing. She's amazing. It is a one-woman show. Mm -hmm. Amber McGaffey. She had a dream. She is a mom just like us, and she had a dream that she would have a, have a farm at her own house. She only has two acres. Her husband just supported her, and she decided, I am going to be a flower farmer. Yeah. She has two little girls. She homeschools. She's amazing. So I like to get my fresh flowers from her and su support a local mom. Yes. Yeah, so so this need, is McGaffey Farms. Yes. We need to visit her because I've been following her online. And so this is what we love about our job is that we get to share mompreneurs and we get to share these women who have vision and dreams and goals and are doing the thing. Like you guys are really doing it. So we really are so thankful that you've invited us in. Yeah. What else are we going to look at? Okay, the this bar situation, which is another area where y'all styled mm -hmm. so well. Yeah, so this was originally a desk in the kitchen. And Brooke for sure wanted like a drink station where she could have like her coffee and an ice maker and a place for all her, her coffee cups and everything. So we added this and the floating shelves. And it turned out really good. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And the hardware throughout the kitchen is just. It's I love this hardware. It's the unlacquered brass. Yes, it's the unlacquered brass. So, it's the kind that has like a living finish, basically. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. as you touch it, it will age and like yeah. tarnish, I guess. Yeah. But it's the really cool thing about it because it just gives it more character. So, so. good. And the, and the brass pendants mm -hmm. as well. The They're pendants. so pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, another light that's really fun is the light in the breakfast mm -hmm. area. Yes. So that kind of has the same vibe as it's the dining. The same place. Okay, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna have to find this. Yes, we're gonna have to it out. <laughs> and then that little nook situation was that transom there, or you added? No, and that was Brooke's baby. She really wanted something built in in this. Um, it's kind of like a sunroom, really, and something built in over there. And so she had a picture, and we had the contractor have it come to life, and it turned out really good. So cute. this yeah. space is really large, and yeah. originally it was an outdoor sunroom, and they okay. enclosed it. And I love all of the light, mm -hmm. but it was so large that I felt like we needed to make it warm. Yeah. And I was like, I would love a little seating area. Yeah. And so we kind of gave our inspo picks and yeah. just hope for the best, but we were thrilled. Oh yeah, I remember Absolutely. walking in that day and being like, I was oh crying. Gosh, it looks so good. <laughs> I was like, this is my favorite thing. Well, and the detail yeah, that you yeah. did yeah. above yeah. it with yeah. the, it's well, so, so pretty. Well, and the painting that's in there is also really cool because they found that in their attic. And it just was like the perfect, yes. yeah, I know. <laughs> yes, I know. I, my husband found it in the attic. He pulled it down. He was like, I, would, I was thinking you'd probably like this. Yeah. And we were like, oh my God. And so we had it framed at Hobby Lobby and wow, it's so good, so well, cool. It stopped my scroll when Megan reached out. I was like, I'm going just for that. So, <laughs> but the other thing that I was like, I have to, I have to go. Like, I, we have to say yes to this. 
is this situation? Butler's pantry? No, the, it? well, it's the laundry. It's like back kitchen laundry. It's a back kitchen laundry, sis. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Get a hike. Right. Now what to call it here. I will tell you that as like we've gone to more homes and the butler's pantry and all of that is kind of gaining popularity or a second kitchen, mm -hmm. it's kind of fun that we're breaking spaces up and giving ourselves permission to just call something what we need it. Like, what do you need? What do you love? You love your dog and you have a dog wash station. That is my dream. It, it was mine too. I told her we have to have a dog wash. Figure it out. Yes. She was like, okay. So what, it, where is that wallpaper from? It's from yes. anthropology. Mm -hmm. And we searched mm -hmm. the world, okay, For, because yes. we did not want to pay the money. Mm -hmm. But but there was just nothing like we it. We came back and there was nothing mm -hmm. we loved more. No. Nothing. Yeah. And so we said, you know what? Sometimes you're gonna you're gonna go cheaper in certain areas, yeah. and then there's gonna be something that you love, and it's going to give you all the joy. <laughs> And so we just did it. It's the high low yeah. game. We it gotta is. play it. Yeah. That's right. And it ends up being my favorite room in the whole house, yeah. I think. Oh, it is. I mean it's so, a showstopper yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, tell us about what was it before? Was it was it that? Was the, it just the laundry? Yeah, so it was the laundry room, but then they had this space where you see the oven and microwave was not there. That was just like an empty space and they had like a little cabinet. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was for like a refrigerator before, but there was nothing in that, really in that space. So when we were going through designing the kitchen, we knew that because she has a big family, it would be nice to have double ovens, but we didn't have really the space for it in the actual kitchen. It would have ruined the whole I block. know, and that's the thing too. It's like, I didn't want like, you know, double ovens, you know, I just feel like this is such a pretty clean look. And so we're like, let's put it in the back kitchen. So yeah. that's how that idea came about. So That's great. Well, back kitchens were just coming to be whenever we bought our home and my realtor said you and he didn't have a word for it he's yeah. like you should really do a kitchen where the laundry room is and I was like a kitchen yeah. where the laundry <laughs> now I'm like I should have listened yeah <laughs> you'll live and learn okay so we do I guess we don't we probably won't all fit in the but you have a pool bath in there as well so tell us about designing the pool bath yeah, so the pool bath, we knew they also wanted something fun in there, but still in keeping with the house. And so there's a door right off, so it's where everybody will use to come in, but it's also doubles as a second bath for her college-age son when he comes home. Okay. So we knew we needed like a, a shower and a good vanity for him. So um, we found that tile at Bedrosian's and it's like a good green, green vintage wow. tile. So it's like a super fun moment. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like everything really turned out really good in there. So good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Should we go upstairs or should we just to show the girls' rooms real quick? Or do you wanna, sure. are you okay with that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> So this is really the wallpaper source house for me. Mm -hmm. I want to, every single wallpaper in this house, mm -hmm. I would like to put in my own home. So <laughs> let's talk about these girls' rooms with these amazing wallpapers. Well, yes. how fun is, is it to have two daughters too? I have two boys, so I'm like, Boring. Boring. Oh, yeah. Beautiful wallpapers. Yeah, that's, yes. that's awesome. This is another one of those wallpapers that was like a splurge, mm -hmm. but it was like we looked high and low for something similar and just yeah. could not find something that we were like we were so in love with. Mm -hmm. So this is also from Anthropology. It is like so stunning. Like when you get up on it, like so we did one wall <laughs> because yeah. it was a if you can't it afford it, you choose a section. Yeah, <laughs> so we did a really pretty blue in here, which I believe is rainwater. So, mm -hmm. uh -huh. It sure is in here, and I'm sure in Williams rainwater. And so yeah, that, that wallpaper turned out really good. And then the other bedroom is from Wall Blush, mm -hmm. and it's like per her the little girl's request, she wanted flowers and succulents yeah. and things like that. So we found a really pretty cactus type wallpaper for her bedroom from Wall Blush. So well, in the bathroom, we're gonna talk about yeah. the choices in there, yeah. the cabinet color, the floor. Yes. yes. So both of the bedrooms have some pink and in, in them and some different kinds of greens. Mm -hmm. So I knew since it was a Jack and Jill bathroom that I wanted to kind of marry that. Yeah. And so that's where the 
um, kind of sagey green cabinet color came in and the pink tile yeah. and I feel like it all kind of worked with the fun black and white I feel like it's something too that like it's super fun for little girls but I feel like it can definitely grow yes for them as teenagers too totally. you know yeah well and what I love too about doing a remodel people think okay you have to tear everything out and start new well you know, if, if some cabinets are in good shape, they just need a little sanding and some new yeah, paint. Yeah, so those are you know, original. Keep the cabinetry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's just, you know, throw on a different color and, and save the money there and spend it elsewhere. Spend it on wallpaper. Yeah. Spend it on wallpaper. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the cabinets. We're going to spend it on wallpaper. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we have toured this entire beautiful, beautiful home. And I just want to thank y'all for... Brooke, thank for you letting you. us in your home. Yes. Thank you all. And the Maven Design House team mm-hmm. for sharing your project. Where can people follow you, follow the next project, and all your amazing wallpaper sources? Yes, absolutely. So, um, mavendesignhouse.com is our website, and then on social media at Instagram at Maven Design House. So, yeah. Yeah, and I love, not saying anything about other designers, but I love when designers are not gatekeepers. And so, thank you for being so great to share all your design tips and all of the sources and um and so we'll just follow you girls anywhere just let us know where to come (laughs) we'll let you follow yeah (laughs) okay so make sure well i was about to take your job so don't take my job sorry this is your job go (laughs) like and subscribe follow these gals and the floral girl yes Yes. amber mcgaffey at mcgaffey farms amber mcgaffey okay let's let's just close and like subscribe and follow and share with all your friends. Yes. Bye. Bye. Bye.